Yeah. So are you a full time artist now? Yes. I'm, yeah, hundred percent full time. So uh, that's amazing. All my money comes. So I, I mean, I'm sure that, that that you know, for all the aspiring artists out there that may be worried about taking the leap, um, I guess how do you get started as an artist and um, you know, what kind of uh, influence or not influence, but like, what can you do to um, for anybody who's on the fence about or maybe worried about taking that step? Yeah, I would say that. I mean, the first thing is very important that I learned over the uh, break was you really have to determine what your goals are. So once you like, like I said, it's like getting in a car and, and with no destination, you're just gonna drive all over the place. You need to like, no, I'm going to here, I'm going to Chipotle, or I'm going to this is where I'm going. True. So yeah, so once you're able to determine what your goals are, then from there you can determine what your niche is gonna be in the art world. So of course, like if you're trying to get in museums and galleries, there's certain things that you're gonna have to do in order to get in museums and galleries. And then if you wanna just strictly do direct to consumer, you wanna do the markets and pop-ups like what I do, then there's a certain certain process that you're gonna have to have to go about doing that. So I say once you determine your goals, um, then from there you gotta find your find your niche in the art world. And then from there is I would say just just being active. I mean. You're a creator, so you're you're gonna have to be creative. You're gonna have to get out there, and and kind of see what's out there. And then once you feel like you're at a point to where you can um, support yourself and you know pay your bills at the same time, put um, time and effort back and resources back into your business, then you know you, you should definitely take that leap. Um, I definitely you know like I said that the problem with me, I rushed it the first time <laughs> the, when I just abruptly left teaching with no plan, and that was the thing. So. You definitely really want to have a plan and pretty much just the general rule of thumb is you would want to be in making at least two times what you're making from a job. So if you're making a thousand bucks a week, you want to be making two thousand bucks a week selling art. And you want to have at least at least uh, six months to a year of rent saved up. So if some people if you're looking for just that general rule of thumb, at, at least, you know, make at least two times what you're making from your day job and then have at least six months to a year of rent saved, saved up and then and then from there you just it's it then from there it's just a matter of discipline you know you have to to wake up every day and and do it every day you know there's no one there's no over your shoulder telling you got to do this or do that hmm. you know you're pretty much free to do whatever you want but that's why we do it anyway but from there it, it was i would say it's just discipline at, at that point just being consistent so when you say that you have to make two times what you make for your day job, um, I guess, would it be? De do you think it'd be dependent upon your art, or is that coming to like when you're trying to determine if you're going to make money? Do you increase the price? You know, are you saying like now, oh, I'm gonna just sell for so each one for twice what I make? Yeah. Or how do you well, gauge? See, that's the, well, that's the thing. As far as like, um, with your pricing, your the, the client base is always gonna. Um, determine your um, pricing again goes back to saying setting like you're setting your goals so of course if you're trying to sell stuff in the gallery for twenty thousand dollars if you try to do a a, a small pop-up you know <laughs> you try to sell something for twenty thousand dollars you know good luck with that you know <laughs> you know but um man i'm sorry go what was you at at usx what was it um um i guess how do you determine yes oh okay yeah so like and also the, just the demand so as the demand is going up you know what i mean like for example like my black hats um i should have bought more of those they sold that those are the first one i don't even have any more black hats so not only when i get some more black hats those ones are going to cost more and for obvious reason it's black it goes with everything so yeah it would have been the same thing had they'd have been buying out my blue hats you know that's would have been the one I might have had to mark up a little bit. So the demand is what's gonna determine how you price your demand is what's gonna determine how you price your art, the location and where you're placing it. And then going back to what I was saying, just finding your niche. So for example, like um, I'm really big on direct to consumer. Like, so that's people going to my website, people um, messaging me on IG and Facebook saying, hey, I like this artwork, how do I buy? Um, and then doing the the uh, markups, I mean the not the markups, the small markets and pop ups that I do. I do any, I do about three to six of those a week, you know. So I'm constantly, constantly, constantly meeting people. And then aside from, and then which that allows me to take the time to submit for galleries, 
And that's when I have my much larger, more elaborate, more pricier work. Or mm -hmm. you can do, and there's some people that do murals, that that's what keeps them going. And that's what keeps the light on. And then if you're consistently getting them, then, you know, you have some decisions to make. I know a guy at a um, art market, he does like portraits. So, you know, where you sit there and then he draws mm -hmm. you, he does that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's not really so much um, where you're pricing, where you're pricing each each like piece or your artwork is more so finding your niche and getting that to a consistent point where you're making enough, you know? So if you're selling prints, you, you, you're selling prints with 20 bucks, you know, you just sell a lot of prints, <laughs> yeah. you know, and then like a, and then once you get to that, once you get to a point where you, you know, you're making enough, say you're making enough doing your murals and there's people that do custom work. I mean, there's all types of stuff that you can do from yeah, your murals, yeah. like I said, custom work, markets and pop-ups, commission, commission works, fashion and clothes and, and all types of stuff. Once that gets consistent, that's when it's time to um, make decisions more so than just trying to charge an arm and a leg to, pay for everything okay and we got a uh, question from the audience that says what is your location and how are prices on your art where's my location well i'm what is your location? well i'm located in uh houston texas um stay um i don't know if i want to give like my exact address but i mean i'm <laughs> West timer like i don't have a studio if that's what she's actually i pretty much I, this I, think it's, it's, I think it's more so where can they go to see your art Oh, so if you want to I'm wrong. Yeah, okay. Well, if you want to see my art, you can always check me out on Instagram. That's um, the social media platform that I, you know, spend most of my time on. So from there, I then I do have a link to my website on there as well. And then also the thing that I do is I post my my market schedules. So so every week you can you can see where I'm going to be at, whether I'm going to be in Montrose or I'm going to be at State of Mind or Sunshine's Vegan Deli or Axelrad. You know, I post all that on there so you can keep up and follow me um, and see everything that's going on. So the best place would be to check me out on Instagram. Yeah, and that's scrolling down on the ticker below. Yeah, James wrote with the Y. A lot of people forget the Y. <laughs> I should have probably made that capital. <laughs> no, it's all good. They can see it though. It looks, it looks perfect. All right. 